Gary Marshall is one fine director. He's an amazing guy. They all adore him. So he's a one of a kind. He's a joy to work with. He's just this dynamite guy. For an Italian, he's a real match. <laughs> George Rule is a picture that was about uh, trusting what your child says, and uh, it's a picture about forgiving. And uh, it had a lot of elements that I have enjoyed in a, in a very comic way, but in George Rule, there's a very serious side to it, and it's a drama with a lot of laughs, but a drama. Usually I do comedy drama. This is a drama comedy. So this was a, a new switch for me. I get misty on every take. When you're coming to work every day and you're having to go dig deep down into dark areas that touch raw nerves, oftentimes in your own life, it sure helps to have a director who's funny, <laughs> you know, and kind. I think it's really a big thing about making the actors comfortable, and then they'll give you a real good ride. They'll give you the character that uh, was written. Hey, got anything better than Harlan around here? <laughs> it really drives you to want to make a great character. She'd be cute for you. Oh, she just likes me because I just neutered her dog. I like to work where I kind of be the person who stands at the edge of the cliff. And I let them all try things. And if they're going to fall off the cliff, then I say, no, don't go there. I let my actors have a certain freedom that uh, they can feel comfortable as the character. Because I find, especially those who've been around, that actors often can give you a good interpretation. He's very collaborative. I mean, he has a very strong point of view. And he has great ideas. But he's always open. I don't know how people do those two things. They're open yet with a strong sense of purpose and agenda. But he does it. His direction is so specific. He really understands all of these characters. He, he gets the story and he gets all of the arcs and uh, he doesn't miss a thing. Not a thing, uh, I can tell you. Gary took a script about a hooker who was working Wilshire and turned into Pretty Woman. Gary Marshall's well known for directing films, but also all those famous television shows in the 70s, so he's got this great sense of humor. He's got a really thick, New York accent still, you know, you've been living in California for 50 years. You'd think you could do something about that, but uh, evidently he doesn't see any need. Gary Marshall called me up and said, so you want to do the movie? You take two steps back, you're in the Bronx. That neighbor. He loves actors, obviously, and he's very tender. <laughs> He's got such a light heart and such a sort of charisma about him, and it just keeps everybody around the set in some sort of a great mood. Nobody gets to be too stressed out on this film, which is a much different experience. You know, I've always heard that Gary Marshall doesn't direct a movie, he hosts a movie. And being on this set with these people that some of them have done 60 movies with him, it's the same family that he goes from picture to picture with, and they all adore him, and within a day you understand why. The people who work with him have worked with him for a long, long time, and that's a good sign. It's community-oriented, it's family-oriented, you know, your life is more important than the work. It's always fun. He knows how to create community. I like a party, you see, so we have a good time. A loose ship works best for me, so I truly enjoy when actors and crew members bring family members on the set. I have kind of an open set and a lot of kids are around, and they have toys, and Jane Fonda brought half the family she has and kept referring, this is my favorite ex-husband, but all these kids and relatives were there, and Lindsay brought a lot of friends around, so I am very comfortable with that. They also sometimes want to impress their friends, so they go and they really do it, do it well. He just brings a great, cheerful attitude, always knows exactly what he wants and keeps you laughing. I mean, it was 120 degrees and we were way up in the Sierras and everyone's dying. And there's Gary, you know, with his popsicle moving around, you know, for 15 hour days and directing brilliantly. So Good. he reminds you of why you got into this in the first place. He brings back a sense of fun and it's enjoyable and lighthearted and also true. Kind, decent, good, generous. He never stops, and he loves every second of it. And we cut, good. <laughs>